How's it going? This is Kolrolf, and welcome back to RimWorld Force in Exile. So in between episodes, one thing I did is I set up a little uh, animal area here. There we go, animal pen. I'm going to move them out of this area because I want to try uh, roofing over this area and seeing if we can kind of get the air conditioning in this place. And we'll need to set up some, uh, some coolers, pump in some cold air, but we need it roofed off first. And with it being roofed off, all oh, the plants are going to die. So we need the animals somewhere else because we don't have our animal area set up. So that's what we're doing there. But yes, I think that'll really help just getting us all... <laughs> uh, being able to handle these heat waves and things like that. We do have uh, the party uh, that's coming back. They're about three days away or something like that. Uh, looks like they're doing okay. Tortoise is a little in a poor mood, but... Hopefully she'll be able to manage that. Uh, I think they do have some beer. Maybe some bro ambrosia still? I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, yeah, gonna get, uh, see if we can get this area covered over as well as, as we're, um, dewatering the swampy area. Make sure we're getting the walls in here and help support this, because I, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a hole in here or not. I think there will be, even even if this wall was here, I think it's just too far away. We'll have to put down some um, some columns, but that'll be fine. We'll we'll make that look nice. Actually, with this animal pen set up here, we don't really need this boomalope area for any reason anymore, so let's just get rid of that. There we go. So yeah, we get animal pen outside and combat area, and these two are just for our combat animals, which is just our little crate dragon at the moment. Uh, oh, there is another one. There is another one. Um, okay, well that's that's fine. We'll just leave it as tame, and then maybe when uh, Tortoise gets back, she can try and tame it. But we'll just leave it on. That's okay. Oh, another thing I should mention. Yeah, with with Rainford joining, we need another bedroom. So I set up this um, uh, this bed to be moved over here. I'm not going to set up a double bed because our only crafter is uh, Yang Zoe, and he's he's doesn't have a good track record of building even half decent beds. So <laughs> we'll just put that one in there for now, um, and then when Horgan and Tortoise get back, we'll get a better bed set up. Uh, Linnea, I'm just noticing you're harvesting. That's great. Are you also sewing? Because um. We're a little low, yeah, we're a little low on food, and you are set to grow and plant cut, so you're plant cutting. Okay, well, let's see what... It's kind of getting late in the day. What are you doing? Hmm. Okay. Well, th you know, that's good. We need these plants harvested. I'm just worried that nothing's being planted, um, and it's going to be your bedtime shortly. Yeah, you're resting. Okay, well, tomorrow we'll just make sure you're you're re-sowing, because I don't want them to come back and there's no food. And last time we also rescued Black. I think what we're going to do is we're going to set you up reduced resistance. We're not going to try and recruit you, but let's just chat with you and in increase some of our abilities. Um, he does have good crafting. I recognize that. He's actually got a lot of good passions, but... We are going to stick to the challenge of this playthrough, and um, and I know some people may disagree, and I get it, but we're going to stick with the challenge, which is we're only going to actively recruit for sensitive people, and then if other people join through wandering, crashing in, oh, well, good, straight, awesome, um, or like prisoner rescue uh, events, okay, that's fine, but... In terms of active recruitment, we're only going to recruit four sensitive users, so... Or four sensitive pawns. So, and we're going to stick with that. Alright, let's see. These guys are on their way in. This guy's riding a boomalope. <laughs> Don't know why that's a thing, but uh, some people like riding their boomalopes, I guess. Lenny, I'm going to have you come over and trade with these guys. Um, you're cutting grass somewhere. Not really sure. Oh, probably in the growing zone. Okay, looks like you have planted a little bit. Good. But yes, let's go trade with these guys. See if we can sell off some of our stuff. 
Well, as much as I'd like to grab that, I think we're going to pass. Uh, we Well, yeah, <laughs> I think we're going to pass. We can't afford it. Um, yeah. And we're not quite at the point where we can um, buy skilled trainers. So I think we're just going to get some plasteel, sell off these tusks. Um, this is a droid body part. I think we're going to hold on to it. It's not worth a whole lot, so, you know. And then, other than that, yeah, we're going to hold on to everything else. So that works. Let's just, um, let's just haul urgently that in. I don't think I've seen, uh, Plasteel on the map, so I thought we'd get a little bit. I'll just kind of offset the, uh, offset the elephant tusks we sold them. Seemed like a good deal. Well, with them only being a day and a half away, uh, can I get you to prioritize moving this bed over, Yang Zowie? That would be good. Another thing we can get you to do, like Linnea's room is slightly impressive and all she has is this flooring. And right now this bedroom is awful. So with that, let's set up a little bit more flooring through here. It was the limestone claro. Let's get that in there. There we go. And that would be a good construction job for you to do, Yang Zawi. It's not too, too complicated. And it should improve your construction ability. Oh, caravan's leaving. Bye. Thank you for trading. Come back when we have a little bit more money. Let's see. Where's your construction? Okay, you're six. Almost at a seven. Awesome. Ooh. Well, it's Imperial, but weapons provisioner. Awesome. Uh, from the All League. Okay, I didn't think they were affiliated, but... Okay, well, that's that's really good, because we've got a lot of weapons that are just kind of... You know, that was an Equa, but... Uh, well, a launcher pistol might be nice. Uh, some of these slug throws, some of these other weapons are just... Meh. I don't know if we really need them. Okay, sewing rice plant. Excellent. But, let's go trade with these guys. And see if we can sell off all these weapons. Um, we did remove the stockpile here. There's a possibility it won't count it. Well, we can just throw in a temporary stockpile if that's the case. Yeah, looks like we're missing some. Okay, well, whew, some of these are crazy expensive. Okay, they'll, they'll buy a bunch of our weapons, but they'll buy our Imperial credits. Awesome! <laughs> there! You can take them. It's, it's worth about 200 uh, uh, silver. Okay, this is good because, yeah, we haven't been able to do anything with them. <laughs> I don't think that's a very good uh, trading price, but uh, we'll just take it. It's fine. And, yeah, they, they didn't buy any of the... They didn't have the option to buy any of the slug throwers. Okay, let me set up a quick stockpile around this and then um, we'll go trade with them again. There. This will be for anything. Perfect. Okay, Linnea, let's go back. That's the only problem with uh, moving around stockpiles. Oh, interesting. They still don't want them. Okay, well, I guess that's... Uh, I guess that's that then. They don't want the slug throwers or anything like that. Well, fair enough. Oh, they ran out of food. Uh... Gonna be... The, they got 1.4 days of food. Um, okay, so they're down to... Yeah, things like agave, berries, ambrosia, beer. <laughs> but no actual packaged meals. Okay, well that that's okay. I was like, oh my gosh, did I forget to... Sometimes what happens is you forget to change their, um, their policies. And let's see, Rainford, just to double check. Yeah, you're set to caravan, so... Oh, you got muscle parasites. Oh, that's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, they're set to caravan, so they're okay that way. Oh, Ackley Revenge, what's that about? What's that over here? Um, oh! Oh. What? What is going on here? Why is there fire? You guys are throwing grenades? Are we involved in this at all? I don't want to be any... I don't want to have anything to do with this. No, looks like we don't. Okay. Um, yay, you got the Ackley. What the heck? <laughs> Does someone have, um, Molotovs or something? Oh, two guys died. Um, 
What a mess. Uh, well, unfortunately, we're going to get blamed for for this. Here, guys, can I get you to come over here and put out the fire? Um, even though it doesn't look like we had... Yeah, anything to do with this. I don't think we were hunting that thing or nothing. Well, I guess on the upside, we'll probably be able to... That That's their, oops, we're sorry, and they dropped off some silver. That's that's what's happened here, I guess. Ah, oh, now Leet's in a sad... Wander, because he's hungry? Well, eat some berries! Come on, man! <laughs> You're almost home, just eat some berries. You'll be fine, they're good for you. Oh, we could really use some rain. Um, because these guys are not helping with the fire. <laughs> Yay, the caravan arrived. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, now let's just check. Did I train for... Yeah, we did set up your work tasks. Oh, not your schedule. There you go. Um, I'm assuming you weren't a night owl. I don't think so. Nope. Sickly. Oh, well. Okay, good. Well, welcome back. We've got a bedroom for you. Rainford collapsed outside. Aw, you guys just pushed and pushed till you got home and, and Rainford couldn't make it in the door. Um, oh, and Tortoise too. <laughs> guys, <laughs> you could have taken a little nap before you got here, you know. Where, where is Tortoise? Oh, she passed out over here. Um, yeah. <laughs> And, oh, you guys are starving. Um, can I get you to wake up? Come on inside. Get something to eat. Don't sleep in the rain outside. Especially not around here. That's just really not safe. Uh, Tortoise, you can get a fine meal. Get back to bed. That would be better. Ah, oh, I was just going to check you're on, you're on low mood. What's what's the problem? You're tired, serious pain, darkness, sick. Slept outside in the ground soaking wet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, hooray. <laughs> you guys could have planned that a little bit better. Like, if you came back a few hours later, or even the next morning, that'd be okay, you know? Now we've got people digging up bodies and putting them on display, and... Yeah, could have managed that a little bit better, guys, but... Alright, um... Tired and ravenously hungry, yeah. Oh, you're no longer wandering in sadness. Good. Come on inside, get something to eat, go to bed. You'll feel much better. Really, really will. Um, are you still in this corpse obsession? Uh, no, let's send you guys away. Sorry. We need to... Um... Black? What? What? Black tried to romance Lydia and... Agreed? Oh, well, we're just... <laughs> what? We just had you on resist resistance. Okay, well, I get. I, all right. Um, I guess we're going to switch to recruit. Um, I know he's not force sensitive, but... Oh, he's got awesome crafting. Okay, well, that's good. But, okay. Just likes men, he's pretty... People caring. Okay, well, I, you know, I mean, if they're, if they're in a relationship, then black, you know, let's, let's have you as part of the colony, I guess. Um, you got to join, though. You got to agree to join. You can't be. Well, I guess you don't have to be part of the colony technically. You know, people could be uh, in a relationship from different factions. You just never see each other. It's it's the worst kind of long-distance relationship. You're not even, you know, maybe they come in a caravan once in a blue moon, but uh, they never see each other. That's no, that's no relationship. Um, so yeah, okay, I guess uh, <laughs> agree to join, and uh, you, you can stay with Lydia. Well, I guess with the rest of the colony back, you don't really need to... Um, don't need to do that anymore. Oh, right away in storage. Oh, yeah, that's part of the move things over. I had the, uh... oh, I even cut out an area. 
Yeah, I had, I've got the stockpile for kibble over here, but it's outside, it's unroofed. And as you just saw there, I did have it set um, so we could put in a roof there. Well, I, I, I set it up so it would be designated remove roof, but I didn't actually tell them to put a roof in there. So that's what happened there. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, someone will get that and... Um, oh, that's going to dissolve in a moment. Oh, there we go. Okay, animals, you can eat that really quickly, I hope. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, Rainford has unhappy nudity. That's no good. Um, oh, down at the top. Well, that would do it. Uh, okay. Is this not powered? Why is this not powered? Do we not have power over here? I thought we... Ah, uh, it's not close enough. Okay. Alright. I'll just run it along over there. And then let's set and yeah, make pants. I would like to make some dusters and just help you make some Jedi robes. Okay, so I set up some Jedi garb, which pretty much everyone, everyone except for Tordesai will wear as a kind of an undergarment, and then dusters for outer garments, and then for well for Horgan. We'll get him into full Jedi gear. Tortoise, because she's a nudist, will be fine with the Wookiee bandolier. That will be okay. She's covered in fur. You don't really see anything, and she's warm already. She doesn't need it. Okay. But it'll be a good use of... Oh, good! We do have alpaca wool. I was, I was a little worried. I'm like, I wasn't sure if we did, but yeah. And that's, uh, that's Mega Sloth wool, so... Okay. Actually, maybe we can pull that in quickly. Thank you. Let's get that hauled in. Oh yeah, the battery that we got. Good. Let's just slap that down right there. Uh, I don't think there was anything else that we need to set up that we brought in from there. No. Okay. That is fine. All right. Um. Yeah. Oh, uh, I still still chuckling about black here. Way to work your way into the colony, buddy. <laughs> Oh, good. Wen Quing is crafting. Yes. If we can get that uh, Jedi garb done, then Rainford can wear something. Actually, Rainford doesn't have anything to do right now. That's no good. Uh, it's partly because you don't have a lot of things you're actually willing to do. Um, okay, well, I guess if you can handle... Wen Quing doesn't need to handle. I mean, I know he's got a passion for it, but that's something you can do. And Elite, you're really good at it. Tortoise is really good at it. Yeah, Rainford's gonna need a lot of time. Hmm. A lot of time to get better at it. Um. Okay. Could. Could have you set to research if Linea isn't doing it? Uh, it's it's more kind of a well. Really bad research progress is better than no research progress. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, good! Getting your bedroom all done here, Rainford. Actually, what was your... Miss Tacky. Yeah, let's... Let's, um... Here, let's switch your name to Miss Tacky. Kind of like that a little bit better. Um... I don't know. We're not using anyone's last names otherwise, and I think we're using, well, the names that we've got um, basically make sense for their races, I believe. Oh, Yangazi is gonna, uh, gonna be working on the wall here, good. Okay, so it does look like there's a spot here that doesn't get covered, so we will need, we will need some columns. Um, where should we stick them? Okay, we'll put them there, and I think that'll be spaced out enough. It'll look nice. You know, we'll be able to put something in the middle here, and there's lots of room around it as well. So, that will work well, I think. Good, okay. Yeah, because if we can, once we get that blocked off, we can start putting in uh, coolers. Really start climate controlling that area. That would be good. Oh great, now Wen Quing and Tortoise have gut worms. Hooray. <laughs> Black, you're still you're still resisting joining. Yeah, we definitely have you on recruit. Yeah. 
It's got a really good chance because, you know, <laughs> because you want to be with Lydia and, you know, she's trying to convince you that this is the way to go. Look, look, if you want to have a relationship, you need to stay here. Well, I don't know. But hey, this is how it works, buddy. Okay, I also set up um, some limestone blocks and slate blocks to be done. Yep, there you go, Elite. Because uh, we'll need a lot of limestone uh, for flooring in different places. Got an eclipse, that's fine, that doesn't really bother us. So, yeah, that would be good to get done. Oh, and you guys are working on this stuff. Oregon is gathering that ambrosia. Awesome. Okay. Good progress. Good stuff, guys. And yeah, set up a, a double bed here for Miss Tacky. And I'm sure she will like that. Uh, I know this is an excellent bed, but we're going to use that in the hospital. You know, we've got... we got seven people now. Well, eight once Black joins, so... Our hospital is a little on the small side, to be perfectly honest. But... I think with the force healing and, and everything, we should be okay. It's just a matter if we get like a massive outbreak of the plague or something like that. That's going to be somewhat problematic, but... Oh well, we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, Tortoise has new force powers, and actually that's a good reminder. I was thinking about kind of the combats, how they've been going recently, and I think we've been using the force push quite a bit, so I think Tortoise is kind of seeing that and thinking, yeah, I need to learn that, that's pretty useful, so let's give her a point, a point in that. She's used self-heal a little bit, and the Jedi mind trick. Just do those three. She's used that a little bit, and that is good. And Horgan, Horgan here, um, he's been using Heal Other and Force Speed. And kind of similarly, Mind Trick, I think he's seen Tortoise use that and think, yeah, that's a useful ability. So he's going to pick up a point in that. I guess another thing I was thinking of, I don't want to spend all their points because I do want to save some for lightsaber. I'm not putting it in yet. Um, well, I guess I could. I guess I could. I guess I'm kind of envisioning that they're practicing, you know, not with actual lightsabers, but with like sticks. Kind of like, oh, okay. Got a feeling of how this works. So it's kind of like how you practice learning swords with wooden swords before you actually use metal ones or anything like that. So, you know what? Maybe... Yeah, let's let's give them a couple of points. Um, let's see, I think Horgan... Let's see, who's got... Okay, you don't have any passion. You've got a passion for shooting. So I think... I think Tortoise will give her... a point in defense and... and reflection, I think, is what we'll do. And Horgan will kind of be the opposite. They'll go more offensive with accuracy and offense. Okay. Obviously, those points aren't doing too much right now because we can't make <laughs> can't make lightsabers. We don't have any, but you know they'll be useful. It's good practice for now. Um, let's see. Everyone's in a pretty good mood. Yeah, we can assure your safety. There we go. Let's pause there for a second. Okay, yeah, there's just a couple of you guys, yeah. And you're coming in the right side, just stay away from from there. We will have to deal with that. The, the dead zone's eh, starting to get big. If we had the uh, the animal zone in here already, we'd have to deal with it. But oh, let's get this uh, ambrosia brought in. Okay, but yes, guests, welcome to the colony. Let's do a really quick check, see if anyone is Force-sensitive. Not that we necessarily need new recruits right now, but you know. Nope. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. No force-sensitive users. Or, no force-sensitive uh, pawns. Alright, I think it looks like we've got this area all covered over now. Yes, we do. Excellent. Okay, let's start putting the coolers in then. So I believe we still have a decent power budget. Um, oh. Mad Boomos. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> just want to put these down. Um, and just one thing I was mentioning, I've got them facing this way, just so the cooling area and the heating area 
um, don't overlap. I'm not sure if that would actually affect the calculations of how well they run, but there's no need to have them overlap. They can just both be blowing in cool air to the same direction. That'll be fine. Okay, mad boomalops. What are we looking at here? Where? Uh huh. Yeah, five mad boomalops. All right, in our wooden structure. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, you've only got a club. Is anyone? Oh, that's right. Elite doesn't. You got a second weapon, a second melee weapon. Weird. All right. Um, did you have any ability? Oh, melee, of course. Everyone's got melee ability. Um, let's. If you could grab. I want to see how this launcher launcher pistol works. It doesn't really, really indicate. Not sure, based on the description, what kind of weapon it is. So, if you could grab that as a sidearm, you'll need a better melee weapon than a simple club. But you know, and elite. If you could, yeah, if you could. Um, if you can grab that, and I'll just pay attention to see what you're doing. Uh, you're probably gonna drop one of the weapons, so let's close that. And where's the King Zowie? Have you come on over here? Actually, actually. Um, hey, Linia. Actually, there's a, the, speaking of actually. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, <laughs> you can stay sleeping. We'll let you stay sleeping. We're all gonna come in here. Um, I, I, I think we're gonna have to deal with these boom lobes now. I don't really want to, but having controlled fires is gonna be better than blowing up whenever willy nilly. I think that's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> Not entirely sure, but that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, oh, I wonder why they stopped there for a second. But okay. Let's see here. You've got that weapon. Let's come on over here. Elite, did you drop? Oh, you're still picking it up? Okay, so let's just make sure you don't drop off your... Yeah. Equip it as a sidearm, please. There we go. And once you do that, we're going to get you to drop that um, Durasteel knife. Don't really need that. And there you go. Okay. Let's see. Can you run down here in time? with your blaster. Probably not, considering they're right here. Okay. Oh, maybe you can make it in. Is that gonna keep them cleared out? We're not gonna bring the crate Dragon in, that's for sure. They may punch him a little bit, but they're gonna have to do that outside. Okay, she got in alright. Yeah, a leave. Okay, there they go. Now they're starting to blow up. Watch out, great dragon. You're not on fire. Wow. Well, that's good. That one's on fire. And how many of them are still... Oh, there's a whole lot more of them. Oh, okay. Are they around the other door? Hmm. Alright, well... Our um, defensive zone is going to be shambles. Actually, we should really just hunt them. Yeah, let's just hunt them in the rain. This is going to be good. There we go. And there's one more, it looks like. Yep. Alright, perfect. This will be no problem at all. And our defensive zone isn't... Well, it's got a big gaping hole down the middle, but we can repair that fairly quickly. Let's just set these to be finished off. We can even bring these in. There we go. Wait, when I mean finish off, I mean at a distance, right? You're not going to, like, stand at a boom lobe and try and kill it, right? Because, you know, they blow up, they boom, that's what they do. I have no idea what you guys are thinking. I'm just going to do it like this. Yeah. Recruitment attempts will begin. All right, Black. <laughs> Go 
Come on and join. Linnea's put in a good word for you. Says you'll behave and everything, so... You know, let's, uh... Let's just formalize this. Okay, well, we beat some, uh... You know, meals are okay. We're still... Probably should make a larger, uh, grow zone. Yeah, probably. I mean, the plan is to kind of... Basically, all the usable area over here turn it into plant growing area. And... Yeah, I should probably just do that. I know some of the stony soil isn't going to be good, but you know... The regular soil fertility 100% will be good. Uh, still knife rotted away in storage. It's outdoors. Oh! Yeah, probably because these coolers aren't uh, installed yet. Um, yeah. Yeah, because even though one, once this gets blocked off as a room, it's usually counted as indoors. Even though there's a hole in the roof there, it's just unroofed. Okay, well, let's let's focus on this, guys. Uh, Tortoise, say, what are you doing? Resting? Hmm. Yeah, I guess it is 11 o'clock at night. Sounds like a good thing to do. Oh, we don't have any components. That's why we're not making those things. Oh, okay. Let's, um... Here, there's a bunch over here. Let's get this mined out, and that mined out. And might as well get this stuff, because it's right here, too. There we go. We'll go for smaller areas like that later, but... Okay, yeah. Our stockpile is just going to start deteriorating. Oh dear. Okay, well... Um, exactly when you wake up... If you could get that uh, mining done, because I think that is your specialty. Yeah. Yep, definitely at a nine. Actually, tortoise is a four. You don't really need to do that anymore. Yeah. Should've, probably should have taken that off. And there's Black! Welcome, Black! <laughs> you sly dog. Oh, dear. Well, I'll get you set up. And, uh, yeah, you're amazing at crafting, so you are going to do that. Um, probably, probably have you craft and smith and tailor. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, awesome. Well, welcome to the colony, Black. <laughs> oh dear, our second gand in the colony, which is good. It's just an, it's just an oh dear, how he got into the colony. That's that's too funny. Was not expecting that. All right, well, I think we'll leave it here for now. If you have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate it. Enjoy talking with you guys. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one. Take care.